Hey guys, it's Laps here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you watch this video. And in this video, I want to show you real quick how you can clone any website online and then convert them to WordPress. I'll be showing you a very unusual method. This method will be extremely simple and also free for you to use. You only need to pay a couple of dollars for you to host your website, and that is optional. And for you to download this thing. If you're excited about this and you want to see how this is done, let's go to my website screen and let's get started. Right here on my website screen here is Figma.com and Figma is a tool we'll be using to clone this website. Uh, so you can literally just come to Figma.com, you come to this screen here, you should see a button here that says create for free and then you can create a free account. Uh, for the purpose of this example, I'll be logging into my account because I already did have an account here. Alright, so when I sign into my Figma account, this is exactly what I have. So what we can just do is just come up here and just do this design. Uh, this has launched the free canvas for us to design a website, but in our case today, we're not designing this website, we want to build this website. So for us to be able to clone this website, we would need to install a plugin that will help us clone this website. So for you to install the plugin is super easy. So just come here, uh, come to the far left corner here, click this little menu, and then if you come down here, you'll be able to see plugins. You can just come to find more plugins. You can just easily come down here and search for a plugin called HTML to design. But I think I already have this plugin here, so I can just literally run this plugin. So that's it. So this is uh, the plugin here, HTML to design. So we need to click the run button. Now we have this plugin ready for us to use. We just need to input the URL here that we would love to import. So this is where I want to take a pause and I want to let you know that I am not encouraging you to go around the internet and then go to people's website and start using it. I'm only doing this for educational purposes alone and I want you to act responsibly. Uh, cloning people's website have legal implications and I want you to be careful. So having said that, then let's go pick a random website. So cool. for the purpose of this example, I want us to clone WordPress.org. So this is the website here, this is the default website for WordPress or currently. So we'll try to clone this website. So what I will do is just copy this URL here and then come back to Figma and then I will paste that URL here. So what I will do right now is just hit the import button and then this plugin will do the magic. That's it, the page has been cloned. So I need to close this right now and then I can close this too as well. And then if I scroll down here, we already have our WordPress.org website cloned here already. Isn't this amazing? Literally within split seconds. Uh, so let me come down here and let me zoom this to 50% so that we can see the entire website. So you can see this is fantastic. So the beauty about this is that we can literally make some edit and make some adjustment to this clone website here on Figma and we can as well do this inside WordPress. So that's literally up to you. But if we come down here to text tool, for example, and then I come down here, I can literally just change any of the text here. I can change any text here to whatever I want. I can change colors, change design, drag and drop things here and there and walk around. But this is not a Figma tutorial, so I don't want to waste time doing this, but I just want to make one or two changes so that this will look entirely different. So I can just say WordPress and I can just say clone with dabs. Fantastic, you can see how super simple and easy it is. So I can just say dream it, I can change this to this is a video I can just see three minutes. So you can see, super simple, super easy. You can play around, you can check more. Uh, you can play around with this and then change colors, change things, change the elements, however you want them. And that's how easy it is for you to uh, clone this website with Figma. Right now, if you have noticed, you see that we have only cloned the home page of this website. And that's exactly how it works. So let's say, for example, we want to clone more pages in this website. I can just come back here and click this page one. And then what I need to do is for me to add new page. And by 
eating this plus protein here, I can change this from page 2, I can just say this should be our about page and for page 1 here, I can also double click this and then change this to the page that's how super simple and easy this is so let's come back to our about page right now let's come to wordpress.org let's come to about here about wordpress this is another page here let's just see for the purpose of this example we want to clone this as well so let's copy this url and let's come back to figma and then uh, let's come here and then let's come to plugins let's come to html to design as usual we'll plug in our url here and then we'll hit the import button and as usual again this page is being imported into figma fantastic we have this page imported already so we can clone we can close this and then i can come here and then zoom this to 50 percent so we can see literally the same thing we have on our about page there we already have inside of this this is super simple super easy in your own case if you want to clone more maybe clone the contact page clone the services page you can go ahead and do that i will just stop with home and about page here and then we want to see how we can easily convert these pages here to WordPress. For us to be able to do that, we need to install another plugin. So let's come back and see. Uh, so we can just easily come up here and then come to plugins. And then we can find more plugins. And what we want to search for right now is to search for a plugin called Figma to WordPress. There are a lot of plugins here, but we are going to be focusing on this one by Yutaku. I am going to run this plugin, but I would also be experimenting with other plugins here to see the super easiest way for you to clean Figma pages to WordPress. So in case you are interested in that, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and then turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any other tutorials from me. So right now, let's run this plugin. Now I will need to just add an email address here for me to start now using this plugin. So I will do and then I can hit start now button. And now I need to select a Figma URL that I want to convert. So that's super easy for us to do. So I can just literally come back here to the home page and then I'll hit the share button and then I'll copy this link. And then I'll close this and then I'll paste that here. I can just hit create your website. For us to be able to convert this, the next thing I want to do is to select the frame. For this frame here, I just want us to uh, rename this and then we can just call this frame one. So we're just going to select frame one. And then we're going to add this to our home page. So this is our main page right now. So we can come to our about page. And then we have our frame here. We can just change this frame right now and just call this about. And then we hit the enter button. And then we can add another page here. And this will be a normal page. And then we have about here. And this is it. So this is it. This is super simple, super easy, right? Uh, so let's continue right now and then we can hit the continue button. The Yotaku AI assistant right now is trying to uh, rules our website to be able to figure out what WordPress element will best suit every of the elements we have on this website. Alright, so we can see here analysis complete. The Taco AI assistant analyzed the design. So the next thing we want to do is just go to the next step. That's it. So we have our forms, we have button, header, filter, and all these things here as WordPress element. And then we can just go to the continue button. Uh, so let's just continue without selecting them. Let's hit the continue button. So right now you can see that. Uh, Utaco is creating and is designing our WordPress website. So fantastic, uh, this is done. Uh, so what we want to do right now is to hit this preview button. 
right now let's just start free and then here now we need to select the domain usually you can just come here and buy a domain in case you want to uh, but for the purpose of this example i will just say dabs and then you can see congratulations dabsdev.utaku.com is available so that's us trying to use their subdomain if you type a name and then you don't see this option it means that that name is not available you can just play around the names until you find one that would be available just like this and what you have to do is to add this to cart and then you can continue and it will bring you up the option here for you to uh, create an account or to log in. I don't know why I'm logged out, but I can just log in again. So you can see payment successful, and then I can just hit the OK button. Uh, that's it. I have experimented with uh, some website before, so you can see this is publishing. And in your case, you should only have one here. This one should be publishing. All right, fantastic. So we have this already published. Uh, that's fantastic. So we can click this, and then we can see that we have the option here. We come down here, so we can see that our domain is here. So I can just literally just copy this, and then I can just go to web address. So that's it, we already have our WordPress website live. Isn't this amazing? So you can scroll down, you can see Dream it, clone it, whatever we did here. Uh, the same thing with the WordPress URL is literally here. This is amazing. Right now, let's uh, come back to the dashboard here and let's come up here and let's hit the WordPress dashboard. And you can see this is authenticating WordPress dashboard. Fantastic. So you can see we already have our WordPress website here. This is amazing. So let's come to our pages. Uh, let's come to all pages. Uh, so you can see here we already have our about page here. And we have a one for one. And this is the front page here. Uh, but what we can do is to open this up in the meantime. And then we have our page here, so we can choose to edit this page. And then we can see that this is WordPress, so uh, you can you can see that every element here is clickable. And then we can make changes to the button here. We can change this from get WordPress. I can just say get. Right, and then I can add the URL that I want. I can change all the text here. I can be aligned. I can change the size of this. Uh, literally everything here is editable. I don't know why this is not aligning properly, but we can make all these adjustments, change all the text uh, inside of our WordPress editor. So this is an image here. We can choose to replace this image. We can change this text here. Isn't this amazing? So that's it. Uh, this is how super simple and easy it is. So we can do the same thing also for the about page. You can open it, view it in a new tab, and then you can uh, choose to edit this page as well and change some text, change some design. So right now you can also come down here and you can see all the elements here are clickable and they are editable and that's how super simple it is for you to clone any website online and have it as a WordPress. So we we'll come back right now to our WordPress dashboard and we'll come to appearance and we'll come to themes. You will see that we have a theme here, it is called the Taco theme, and that's the theme that is powering the design that you saw earlier. But one thing these guys have done to make this website a little bit restrictive is that you can do much uh, with the free version. Uh, so, for example, you can come to plugins here and then have a new plugin, but that's not going to work. Uh, what you can do here is just for you to see the existing plugins here, they have been able to delete the opportunity for you to uh, add a new plugin and that's quite understandable to us well because this is your server they don't want you to keep the server 
right now this is looking on the sub domain you may want to add your own domain or also move this to your own hosting in case you have one uh, that is super easy uh, your Utaku here has two options so let's come back to the dashboard and let's come up here and hit this button for me so that we can see uh, what we can do so right now you can see that you can just host your website with uh, Utaku and you can see the pricing plan in case you want to host they also have another option for design studio and i'll get back to that briefly so if you want to host your website with them uh, so you can see that it starts from seven dollars per month and then they'll give you 20 percent annual and also free domain so you can see we have free domain we have storage advanced seo and blah 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 so that's literally up to you in case you want to host with them you can just literally buy the hosting plan and then you have access to the website you can do whatever you want to do with it Again, they have option for designs to do, which I find quite very amazing. That's for people who are freelancer or design studios or company that already have their own hosting and just want to use this platform to create that website. So what you can do here is to buy the theme and you can just download the theme here, but that will cost you twenty nine dollars for the entire fee. So if you pay for this, you'll be able to download just one design one website that you have but if you go for another plan here which is about nine dollars uh, per month now so it means that you can start downloading three websites per month that's literally up to you but i think this pricing here is quite reasonable and if you want to do more with them you should be able to invest either way using the understand using uh maybe their design studio. We leave this as brought to you immense value. If you task, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel for me to bring you more tutorials. Like I said earlier, I'll be experimenting with more plugins with Figma to see how best you can import any website from Figma to WordPress. I also have lots of cloning tutorials uh, in my cloning playlist so you can check that out uh, and you will find more options for you. So that's my time for this video. I'll see you in another video and until then stay safe.